So items you're gonna need is one or two of these micro beads. So you're gonna need one of these. Um, this one is from the hair shop, and you can also use a regular straightener if you have one at home that you do not use. You can use that. So this is one of the items, and then the third item is oh, it's hot. You're gonna need a glue gun. Glue. You're, you're gonna need a keratin glue. You have to make sure that it's keratin glue, and it's not something from that you would get at your local Walmart or Target. So that's what you and it is. The third, the fourth item, it's some um, shears. You can use any shears. Okay, so again, like I was saying, this is just the hair. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a single st a strand of hair, approximately um, this. All you do is you you grab it, you twist it. Once you have that, you're gonna grab your shears. And you're gonna cut as close as possible to the top because you don't wanna lose any of that length. The next step is you're gonna grab the hair, you're gonna tap the top to, you're then gonna grab your nail glue gun. You're gonna add a little bit. You have to make sure it's on the very end. You don't wanna have, want it to go lower because we are gonna be cutting the tip. So as little as, as, little as possible on the ends. So you have to make sure it's fully saturated. You're gonna go over with the flat iron or with the with your keratin um, tool. Okay, right here you're just gonna pull up a little bit, make sure all the hair is even, and then you're just gonna with your fingers, you're gonna grab the hair and just kind of start moving your fingers, like kind of like in a circular back and forth. Make sure that the hair is um, more rounded than anything. Once it is, you make sure it's rounded, go ahead and get your shears and then you're going to cut that top part right there. And then you're going to go ahead and grab a bead and make sure if it fits, you are done. Okay guys, so this is what they look like. This is what they should look like. I do have one right here and I left it out like this because it is too thick. And when you do them too thick, if you can see right here, it's, a, it's about twice as big. It's about twice as big as the rest of them. But when you do them too big, what happens is they won't go into the bead, as you can see here. They will not go into the bead, they'll slightly go in and then the rest, it won't go. So you need it to go at least a little bit lower and it needs, needs to have room for the hair to go through. And then you clamp it onto the hair. <laughs> so that's how, how easy and simple it is to make these. I did learn this um, when I was working at my first official hair salon as a licensed professional. So that's how easy you do this. So and I just wanted to share this with all of you guys. If you guys are new in the industry, it's really easy to make hair ex individual hair extensions to where you don't have to buy, say, 20 pieces for $100 or... And you can just buy, um, where, what is it, like a weave they call it, to where it's like the big strand, how I showed you, to where it's like a big strand like this. So this is what they look like. I hope you guys like it, and have a great day. Bye, guys.